Hi, my name is Nicolas Fauvert and I am a highways engineer. For my pitch 200 presentation, I have decided to talk about road pavement. Roads are everywhere in today's society. We use them to move around, to travel, we use them on a daily basis. But what exactly is this road pavement made of? Well, it is a mixture of different ingredients. It is a mixture of about 95% aggregates such as rocks, stones or solids basically while the remaining 5% is made of bitumen. Bitumen is a resulting viscous liquid extracted from petroleum distillation. The bitumen is known as a binder since it binds the ingredients together. For today we will use a much tastier binder, melted chocolate. This chocolate will also act as a glue for the other ingredients. The aggregates I mentioned earlier can be of different sizes. Its diameter can range from several centimeters to a fine grain sized particle. For roads, it is like rocks available at the local quarry, but we will use nuts available at the shop. However, we still need to fill the voids between those nuts or the rocks to make it strong enough to hold traffic. For roads, we use sand, but we will use like almond powder to make sure it is bound together. There we go. Now we just need to mix all of this at high temperature to make it properly. Yeah. Roads are designed for different purposes. A local street road will not have the same recipe than a major motorway. It is not designed for the same traffic. It is mainly the aggregates that will change in between different recipes to be adapted to the works required. As engineers, it is our role, our duty to know what recipe to use for which work. Once the mixture is ready, it is carried out on site to be laid and compacted for the road to be prepared. However, Road pavement is actually multi-layered, as you can see here. Here we go, different layers. Here you can see a core extracted from a road. The closer you get to the surface, the thinner the layer becomes. The aggregates get smaller, but the layer is denser and more resistant to the load. For the deeper layer, we usually use bigger stones but in order to compensate the strength, there is a thicker layer. This is a matter of cost. The thinner the aggregate, the more expensive it is to produce. Well, I hope this presentation helped you learn more about road pavement. Thank you very much.